Hi everyone, King Grimlock back once again for part 2 of my Transformers reviews of Moonbase 2's best and worst toys of 2009. Faced with us, I can only imagine that you will be able to guess are the worst toys as voted by Dave, Andy, Kellogg Prime, Cobra Commander um, and the Moonbase 2 forum as the worst toys of 2009. Now the big problem I have with these guys is I really love them but they are rubbish. But the main reason they were bad, one of the main reasons they were bad, is they are such a letdown. I remember when the initial news came out that we'd be having a two-pack of Jetstorm and Jetfire for animated. I went do lally. I mean, could you hope for two better characters? You know, Jetstorm, Jetfire. You know, you've got two great names. Jetfire just comes up all these wonderful images. And we get these guys. These inglorious, disgusting, useless, gimmicky pieces of tat. I don't think that's fair, really. I think pieces of tat with gimmicks could do better than this. I just, I mean, I, I, it begs belief that Hasbro looked at the quality of the um, animated line and thought, you know what we need? We need two dodgy jets based on two elements to produce so the kids can, I don't know what they were thinking. I really don't. Anyway, on with the uh, unbiased review. <laughs> Let's see what's wrong, I mean, what there is with these guys. Now, problem number one, other than looking a little naff, it's not, you know, the jets are, are fair. I mean, this is, uh, this is tat, I mean, that moves. You can, uh, arms and uh, fists. It's hard to say anything good about this mold. This mode, sorry, this mode. And it doesn't get any... I mean, the blue one's nicer. Jet Storm, he's not. But it, you'll see what I mean. And I can only apologise, dear viewer. The combined mode. That sums it up, really. Um, the combined... The combined mode. The jet combined mode just simply doesn't work. They are supposed to clip together with these points here in the middle, but. And how. You can't with these two. Look, I mean, you. Flat, flat. Well, kind of flat, but you know, flat enough that you could clip. Big, bulbous. Blah, blah, blah. Robot mode. Isn't too bad, really. When you look at what the other modes are, this isn't too bad. It's quite nicely put together. Both are fairly re well representative of their on-screen characters. They're not too bad but they are badly compromised for the combined mode which is the main problem. I mean this is the best mode that you can show these guys in. It shows off two very nice little head sculpts. I love the little goggles he's got on that little smirk. You know, two very nice little head sculpts, two well put together little bots but it suffers from massive problems. What's this? That's a hand man. That's a hand. That's supposed to be representative of a deluxe class toy. That's not representative of a deluxe class toy. That is representative of a deluxe class toy. Any deluxe class toy in animated is better than these. Even the really rubbish ones. 
And there aren't actually many. I mean, animated is a fantastic line, which makes these guys even more disappointing. They should have been so good. The concept, flawed, stolen, choose the word you want, shouldn't have destroyed a sen what is essentially two very good characters in the show, maybe a little bit uh, stereotypical and some would say racist, but two very funny characters, two well thought out-ish characters, but two comic characters and they shouldn't be represented by this. Realistically, you should have nice figures that also combine, not a combiner that can also be displayed in robot modes. As I say, I, I display them in this mode because I think it's the most forgivable. Um, but the, I mean, you can you only have to look at it to see how disappointing these guys are. You know, the, it's all blocky and big chunks of mistake. There are things wrong with it that just can't be fixed. I mean, the, the kibbles, kibbleless, really, for what is essentially, you know, half of a giant robot. I mean, it's fairly impressive on that point. But when you see the giant robot, you'll understand why they're so kibbleless. Everybody say hello to Animated Safeguard. Stand up, you big ugly bugger. Oh yes. What are the best words to describe this guy? Um, insecure might be fairly up there. Uh, broken might be fairly well up there. Oh, it, it's just generally disappointing. I mean, here we have a combined robot that fails. We have a Duocon that fails. How can you go so wrong putting two robots together? Energon got it hit and miss with power linking, or superlink with superlinking, whichever way you want to look at it. But overall, how can you get it this wrong? After what has gone before has got it at least to some degree, right. And again, within the beauty that is the animated line, there are there aren't any redeeming features. I can't say I can't say there is a redeeming feature of this of this uh, figure um, in this in this form. The legs are too short. Oh, sorry, no, the legs are okay, but they don't join together. Um, the arm. Uh, there is feet. I remember, again, when this came out, everyone saw the first images and went, uh-oh, those hands, they look like his feet. And Hasbro said, no, no, they're not his feet. We wouldn't do that. Oh, yes, you did, Hasbro. Oh, yes, you did. And didn't you make a hash out of it? You can see his boot, for God's sake. Oh. Just downright disappointing. And... I mean, I set up the back like this. You're supposed to do them in some spidery way. I do it to keep it out of the way. But, you know, the front of each jet is on there. If it had clicked together better, if it had had hands, would we have liked him? Probably not. There's no articulation that, you know, is actually usable, really. It doesn't move. No waste, you know... And you can do the perceptive kick, Timey. Is this the worst toy of 2009? Yes. It's not the toy I, le I like least of 2009. As I say, the individual robot modes are actually quite quite nice. I well, not quite nice, but they're you know they're they're fair. They're fair. But it's the worst. There is no denying that. If you do want to pick him up, he's currently nine ninety nine in Toys R Us. You will feel like you've paid about nine pounds ninety five too much. 